Hey guys, welcome to another video for not another video. This is in fact the first video for the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max, a part of the Mia Toll series. Nickname Excalibur. This is the 6128 variant that we have. The ROM in question is a Bix ROG ROM based on Android 11 and MIUI 12.6. The kernel that we are talking about is the latest Agni kernel. I do have Majisk installed. I have unlocked the 60 FPS of gaming for PUBG or BB BGMI, whatever you want to call it. So a ton of things that I've tried on this particular ROM and in today's video we're going to talk about benchmarks, the experience of using MIUI or a custom ROM based on MIUI on a mid-range chipset so it's going to be very very exciting reason well because we've been dealing with flagship level chips all the time this is the first time we're dealing with a mid-range device but before we get into all of that if you haven't already please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video in the description of each video you will find a link to our telegram community where you can join us we have more than a thousand members helping each other last but not the least we have some exclusive amazing content for members happening every week so if you want to support us please click on the link below and become a member by clicking on join now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is Kalash let's get going All right, so Abik's ROG ROM for yet another device. We have explored this ROM extensively on the K20 Pro as you all are aware. So if you go to settings, you go to my device, you will notice that MI year 12.6 by Abix ROG edition. This is the weekly 21.6.23 update is what we have over here. A lot of colorful stuff going on, you know, the device name, the battery capacity, Snapdragon 720G, six gigabytes with 128 gigabytes of internal storage. Now, as far as the cameras are concerned, it does have a rear 64, 8, 5 and 2 and a front camera right so if you go to all specifications you will see that the kernel is the latest agni kernel right so those are the specifications now let's actually move on to the change log of this particular rom because i this is the first custom rom that i have tried on this particular device so where's our telegram here's and if we go to abix rog edition all right all right keep going there you go right it says Mia Toll series so you have everything that is added in this particular ROM so all the features of MIUI 12.6 have been incorporated on this particular ROM and everything basically everything that you can imagine should be here now you will ask me why did I move to Agni kernel very very frankly the ROM itself is pretty great but I did find it sluggish especially after coming from a Poco X3 Pro which has a flagship level chipset and a 120 Hz display and the another one the sweet Raphael which has a 60 Hz display but does have a Snapdragon 855 so then I thought let me try a custom kernel and see how it goes and the experience has been much much better I did try a TDM match I did not try oh yeah I did try a Senok match as well so it's not as stable or as smooth in terms of gaming as of course a Snapdragon 855 but it is playable trust me because by default the redmi note 9 pro max comes with ultra which is 40 fps and i felt the jitters trust me i did because that's half the frame rate going from 90 fps to 40 right so that's everything about bgmi what about the ui what are the changes how does it feel compared to the stock mi ui so that's where the complete experience is and i will not bore you by taking you through each and every feature of abix rog rom all right, so let's first see what these guys themselves have to say what all is included safety net passed without root display color optimization color wheel support added smoothness increased and optimized screen cast works perfectly pubg smooth 90 fps enabled by default uh, at least for this device that was not the case settings layout changed added all new app vault gaming improvements best animated icons charging animations yes i have experienced this live wallpapers well you saw that added rog theme bold clocks in lock screen deep rotation all new rog power menu added fix charge drop added chrome browser volti video calls added retro music added always on display updated all apps 
video recording fixed and these is the list of supported devices so that's not exactly the change log but the you know highlight features of this particular rom for almost all the devices that support abix rog rom now if you'll ask me what did i experience in this particular rom on the redmi note 9 pro max well first things first if you open any application the feel is not that instant the global icon app animations are there right but they are sort of slow as you can see over here now even if i go ahead and kill all the applications in memory right there you go so it does take some time and i'm saying it this is the better part with the agni kernel without that it was a little more slow as well so maybe they will have to do some more work but what i can tell you is compared to the stock rom the ui feel is much much better right so if you go to settings over here see this is 60 hertz so what do you expect and after you allow the rom to settle in it sort of works pretty well for day-to-day -day tasks and the good part is as i mentioned earlier it does have all the miui 12.6 features for example if you go to security status you have a dedicated tab to check all the options like find device and everything else if you go to sim sim cards and networks you do have all the advanced options here as well right now moving on in wi-fi you have all the MIA 12.5 or 12.6 features. So this basically is a full-fledged MIA 12.5 or 12.6 ROM for the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max or the entire Mia Toll series. The always-on display works fine. Sound and all the other features are working absolutely okay. The fingerprint scanner, safety net is passing out of the box. So all in all to use this rom as a daily driver i've not really had a lot of problem the fast charging works absolutely okay and the battery life has been pretty decent the touch feel for me has been pretty decent as well especially while gaming so you know all in all this rom does come with all the features of miui 12.5 or 12.6 that you would expect from any device in addition to that it has a lot of under the hood changes and improvement different color themes and stuff like like that so it's a very colorful snappy rom that you can experience if you go ahead and flash this now apart from this well we have to talk about benchmarks so let's first look at the cpu throttle test right now what you're looking at here is cpu throttle 92 percent of its max performance so that's pretty good that means that and this is a 15 minute test mind you that means the device is not overheating and throttling if we talk about antutu benchmark let's have a look at the numbers that we got in antutu 333,389 is the score these are the detailed numbers that you can see over here right now moving on we have our old friend Geekbench which we need to test so I'll tell you the numbers of stock and this so single core 560 multi core 1745 single core 577 multi core 1609 so more or less very very close to the normal score right so the benchmark numbers are pretty decent the phone games pretty decent the ui is there all the latest miui 12.5 features are there and this does come with the latest version of android that is android 11 so what is missing you ask me i've not had any major major issues but as i said the app you know today for them to open up the animations are there but they are sort of slow sometimes they feel laggy sometimes the scrolling feels laggy so i'm not saying that this is a very bad rom you should not try it you should definitely install it if you're a miui lover and you want to try miui 12.5 because it's pretty smooth for day-to-day -day use you can do sort of casual gaming and the battery backup and everything else is also pretty good so in my opinion i think you should give it a try if you have a redmi note 9 pro a redmi note 9 s a redmi note 9 pro max or a poco m2 pro let me know in the comment section which device do you have what is your experience and very soon we will be doing a live stream with this particular rom to test the performance in bgmi until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye